What's up guys, Press Young here, back from our video. Today we're going to do a review on the what's new on the weather app on iOS 15 Pi Beta or it's Pi Beta 2 or it's also called it Devil Beta 2. Now, right now the weather app is getting stable but we're going to talk about what's new in the weather app. Now, I'm going to, why I'm going to do this because I talk about specifically what's new inside so that people will know what's new inside the weather app specifically. Obviously, you can see I turn on Don't Disturb, so there's no other apps interrupt up it. So let's start on what's new in this weather app. So when you just go into weather app, you can see it's a new design. Obviously, on top is everything the same, but now you can see there's a new because right now it's sunny and you can see it's a sunny new design, and you can see the sky is moving. It's great. You can see in now the borders on this one's getting a bit better, and now it's more rectangle. And now there's a new feature they actually talk about what's new or what, what's happening the forecast of this weather you can see right now it's 29 celsius and it says partly cloudy condition from 12 to 2 so there will be some cloudy condition from 12 to 2 and we have thunderstorm expected at 2 p.m so obviously mostly forecast is estimate but if you if but when it happens it will just give you that estimate time when it will happen sometimes it will appear 15 minutes earlier or 15 minutes late and of course you can see the design is getting better you can see the icons looks a bit different from the old version it's now getting like a, even a better redesign you can see obviously you can see 2pm is going to rain scroll back down if you go to and it's going to be there's no rain but there's only got thunderstorm and then you can see here the 10 days forecast also got redesigned you can see now they added a feature called how many chance of rain it will rain so this is 100% there's 80%, 70%, 40% on it. And even can show you the temperature of this location. Even if you want to click see more, it actually shows you a full version of all the maps on which one is very cold, which one is hot. You can see if it's red, it's hot. When it's around 29 iron, I'll go see we're in the orange location. If it's very cold, it will be it will be cold. But because this is in Malaysia, Malaysia the temperature is always high. So Obviously, you need to get used to it or the weather. And of course, there's a now showing a new feature called UV Index. So it can show you how the UV lights, how strong it is. Right now, we say 8, so we say very high. Obviously, in summer, it's always very high. Use sun protection until 5 p.m., which is always recommend. And I advise everyone to use it. And sunset is 7.26 p.m., uh, which usually in Malaysia only got one summer. And 7.26 p.m. is, of course, the sun will just go down. As you can see the new wind feature uh, right here is run now the wind currently is at 3.2 kilometers per hour now it show this actually one new feature you can see the winds now facing northwest rainfall is 2.1 centimeter expected in the next 24 hours and right now uh, obviously it shows 29 but the, the weather say that it feels at 33 Celsius, there's humidity 68. So this is actually some new features they added. They also add the visibility feature. So they say 9.7 km, they say there will be light haze affecting visibility. For right now I see it's not, but maybe it's in the, later in the afternoon. And right now they also show the pressure right now, the location I'm, I'm staying. They say it's 1012 of uh, pressure, high pressure, but now it's on medium, so it's good. good. And this is actually a specific location of where I stay. You can also click here. This is actually the location on the temperature. You can scroll to the left. If you want to, if when you scroll to the left, it shows us the specific you actually choose us to see. You can check this London, London, the cold weather in Melbourne, Hong Kong, Los Angeles, and this is the things I added. If you want to add, add obviously, the you can have this button. Just click it. And it just shows the full range. There's no pinch to actually extend. Actually, Apple will probably just remove it. It and you can just search for the new things about it. You can also can edit the list, notification, or you can switch it to Fahrenheit if you have a problem. And if you got any issue in the weather, that's a report an issue to Apple. So just in case if you have any issue at all. So that's about all the weather app on iOS 15 Power Beta and the Double Beta. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.